Have you ever stopped to think about what actually happens when you press a doorbell? It's one of those everyday actions we barely pay attention to. You walk up to someone's door, push a little button and ding dong, someone knows you're there. But what's going on behind that tiny button? How does that familiar chime magically echo through the house? And how did we even end up with doorbells in the first place? Today, we're peeling back the layers of one of the most overlooked pieces of home technology. From the history to the mechanics, let's uncover what really happens when you ring a doorbell, right here on History of Simple Things. Before we dive into the wires and circuits of modern doorbells, we need to rewind a bit way before electricity. In the early days, if you wanted to let someone know you were at their door, you didn't press anything. You knocked, literally, with your fist. Or if you were fancy, you might have used a knocker, those heavy iron rings or lion heads you see on old wooden doors. Then in the early 1800s, things got a little more creative. Some homes had pull bells, essentially a rope or wire connected to a bell inside the house. You'd pull on it from the outside and it would ring a mechanical bell indoors. No electricity involved, just clever engineering and a little bit of elbow grease. But everything changed in the mid 19th century with the arrival of electricity. Around the 1830s and 1840s, inventors started playing around with electromagnetic principles. That's when Joseph Henry, who also contributed to the development of the telegraph, created the first electric doorbell prototype in 1831. By the 1850s, electric doorbells started showing up in wealthier homes, and they were kind of a big deal. Imagine! Instead of banging on the door or pulling a rope, you could now press a button and a bell would ring instantly inside the house thanks to the wonders of electric current. It was high tech for the time. All right, let's talk about today. Let's get into the guts of the operation. What actually happens when you walk up and press a modern doorbell? If we're talking about a traditional wired doorbell, the system is fairly simple, but surprisingly elegant. Here's what's going on. The button. When you press it, you're closing an electrical circuit, just like flipping a light switch. This allows electricity to flow from a transformer, more on that in a second, to the chime box inside the house. The transformer. This is the behind the scenes hero. It takes the high voltage electricity from your home, usually 120 volts and steps it down to a safer, lower voltage, typically 16, 24 volts. That way, you don't get shocked when you press the button. The chime box. This is where the magic happens. In classic mechanical models, pressing the button activates an electromagnet that pulls a little metal striker toward a chime bar, making that ding sound. When you let go of the button, the striker might hit a second bar for the dong. That's it. Just a simple low voltage loop that makes a little hammer strike a bar. It's elegant in its simplicity. Now, of course, a lot of people these days have moved beyond the classic wired setup. Welcome to the world of wireless and smart doorbells. In a wireless system, pressing the button sends a radio signal to a receiver somewhere in the house. That receiver plays the chime, no wiring required. These are great for renters or homes where rewiring would be a pain. But the real game changer? Smart doorbells. Think brands like Ring, Nest, and others. These don't just ring a bell, they send a signal to the cloud, notify your phone, stream video, record footage, and even let you talk to visitors from anywhere in the world. Behind the scenes, pressing a smart doorbell triggers multiple systems at once. First, it activates a camera. It also sends a push notification to the homeowner's phone. Also, it starts a video or audio feed via Wi-Fi or cellular data. And in some cases, it even triggers cloud-based facial recognition 
or connects to a smart home system. That's a long way from pulling a rope. You might be thinking, okay, so it's a button that makes noise or sends data. Big deal. But doorbells actually play a subtle but powerful role in how we interact with our homes and each other. It's a nonverbal universal symbol. I'm here. Whether it's the mail carrier, a friend, or a delivery person, the doorbell creates a polite and efficient way to announce your presence. No shouting, no knocking until your knuckles hurt. Just a press of a button. And with smart doorbells, it's also become a tool for security. You can see who's at your door when you're not home. You can keep an eye on packages. Some systems even scare off potential porch pirates just by letting them know they're being watched. So what's next? Are we going to blink to ring a doorbell? Maybe not quite, but the future is definitely getting smarter. Some companies are experimenting with AI-driven visitor recognition, so your doorbell knows it's your mom before you do. Others are working on integrating doorbells into broader smart home ecosystems. Imagine your doorbell recognizing your dog walker, unlocking the door, and turning on the hallway lights automatically. There's even talk about merging doorbells with augmented reality, letting you answer the door in AR using a headset. Whether that becomes practical or not, it shows how far we've come from the days of banging on wood. At the end of the day, the humble doorbell is a great reminder that even the simplest parts of our lives are built on layers of innovation, invention, and evolution. It started as a knock, became a pull, turned into a chime, and now connects people across cities and continents in real time. So the next time you press a doorbell, think about all the tiny systems working behind the scenes to make that one sound happen, or to start a video call with your front porch. It's easy to overlook, but like so many of the simple things in our lives, there's a fascinating story hiding in plain sight. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.